Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM OIT Institutes. And today we are going to discuss a little bit of grammar. And trust me, if you will listen to this grammar video four or five times until end, if you are from Hindi medium, Punjabi medium, or any other medium, it does not make a difference when you are preparing for OIT or any other English exam. I will try to cover everything, everything in this video regarding the grammar. And it won't take more than 10 minutes. But please listen to this video five times at different different times. Suppose now you listen to the video two times, then after two hours, listen to video two times again. And then again, after two hours, then you will understand a lot of things about grammar. Uh, see, the most important point when it comes to grammar, why people feel that whether grammar is difficult or easy is because of active passive. Everybody wants to know about active passive. So active passive is something that is very important, not in, only in terms of uh, OET preparation, but for all the English tests. Let me make it very simple for you. Active passive. So B plus third form, if you see anywhere, it is passive. That's the only thing you have to remember. Only thing. The first form of B is, is MR. The second form of B is was work. The third form of B is being. Now you will be little, con little confused like what is first form, second form and third form if you are from Hindi Punjabi medium. Otherwise we understand what are forms. But it's not in an active way I'm saying. I'm just telling you to learn this thing. So what are forms? Forms are like first form, second form like C. So C. Go went gone what is the purpose of having forms of verb like in hindi or any other thing there are words like hai tha in english and what do they represent present or past in the same way in english these forms take the responsibility whether we are talking in the present past or future we get to know from the forms of verb. Example, I go to park every day. So when I use the first form, it is present. Obviously, we can see how do English people get to know that we are talking in present just because we are using the first form. So first form always denotes present. So I will write it here. It's present. Always. So is MR is also present. Second form always denotes past, always. And third form is used for two things, perfect tense and passive. Again, I'm telling you, you have to listen to this video good five, six times to remember it. But this will make your journey easy for whole of your life when it comes to English. So again, active passive, first of all, B plus third form is that I will do later. Okay, what is B? B has got three forms. Is, M, R, was, were, and been. Anyhow, even if I talk about C, saw, seen, it is also a verb. So anything that has three forms is a verb. So what are verbs? Like if you say, sir, ready is a verb. I will say ready is not a verb because there is no forms like ready. There is nothing like that in this word. You will say, okay, is a verb. I will say no. Because there is nothing like okay, okay. So verb means it should have three forms. And verbs are the most important things you should understand when you are learning English. So if I am going somewhere in the present, I will say I go. Even if I am going in the present continuous tense, I will say I am going. So you will say, sir, going word is present. I will say no. Going means continuous. That means it is happening. So what is present over here is MR. Is MR is a present form. So this word is telling it is present. Sir, I don't understand. Okay. Let's make it simple. I was going. Now you all can tell whether it is present or past. It is past continuous. How do we get to know it is past? Obviously, this is telling. So when it comes to continuous tense, helping verb, that is B. This same helping verb is MR, was verb. So B is a helping verb 
that tells us whether the sentence is in the present or is in the past. Now coming back to the point, again making it, I know it's little complex until now, but I will make it very simple at the end. Just stay here and concentrate. Okay, so I go to park every day. Present indefinite, I am going. Present continuous, I have gone. This is present perfect. These all are present. Again, sir, how is it present? Because if you will see, has have is the first form. It is also verb. Second form is had. Third form is had. So have here denotes its present perfect. So how do we make it past perfect? I had gone. This become past perfect. So what I wanted to tell you by overall until now that verb of forms are important to be understood to understand whether it is present, past or future. And the second thing I want you to know that be is a verb which has got forms is MR, was, were and been. That is the only thing I wanted to tell you until everything. Now let's see what are passive voices. Now passive voices are always done by again these three things so i will copy paste it so this is this is the recognition of passive voice b plus third form so i will cut it from here and will put it over here so that you don't have to worry this is the recognition of passive voice means if somebody says I am prescribed with antibiotics. Very important now. Now this lecture will become more and more important. Then I, if I know English, I can understand it is a passive voice. How do I know? B plus third form. Where is B? B is present in the first form. Is MR. Then it is third form. So B plus third form is MR is also B now. So B plus third form, that means it is a passive voice. What is passive voice? That means I over here is a patient. Patient is prescribed with antibodies. That is what I want to say. That means you should be able to judge that it is a passive voice. That means it is a patient. I am prescribed with antibiotics. That means I am prescribed with antibiotics or I am prescribed antibiotics by the doctor. So it is a passive voice. In the same way, when we say patient was given antibiotics. So this is we normally use in OIT. Patient was given physiotherapy, patient was given PCM, patient was given hydrotherapy. So this was plus third form is also a passive voice. That means was plus third form is also B plus third. When in the today visit, we say today the patient has been diagnosed with diabetes, then also we want to say patient, sorry for the spellings, okay, I will correct it. That means has been plus third form, again, been plus third form. That means the patient has been diagnosed with diabetes by the doctor. So we don't have to write by the doctor. We automatically understand that diabetes will be diagnosed by the doctor. So now, again, summarizing the whole discussion. Why we started the discussion, I will also let you know. I started the discussion just because of this reading sentence. Antimicrobial quality statement taking antibiotics when a patient is prescribed antibiotics, now understand when a patient prescribes antibiotics, if I write it this way, this is wrong because a patient cannot prescribe antibiotic, doctor will prescribe antibiotic. So if I'm writing active, then it should be like this. When a doctor prescribes antibiotics to the patient. And what is passive? When a patient is prescribed antibiotics by the doctor. 
this is passive. That is the difference between active and passive. Passive means is MR third form or was were third form or has been third form. So active and passive helps you to understand the sentence in a better way. Like in this reading, when I say when a patient is prescribed antibiotics, then we should be able to understand that patient is not prescribing the antibiotics. He is being prescribed antibiotics by the doctor. So when a patient, so the question was, what should clinicians do when prescribing antibiotics? So the question is in the active form that what should doctors do? So that was given in the passive voice. When a patient is prescribed antibiotics by the clinicians, information about when, how, and for how long to take them, as well as the potential side effects and the review plan is discussed again passive voice with the patient or the carer. So now you will understand what I am trying and say that suppose if no other line is given in the question, you are given clinicians, doctors in the answer. You are not given the word clinicians until now. So even if this comes in my OIT exam, this question is complete because what should doctors do? When a patient is prescribed antibiotics, information about when, how this and this is discussed with the patient by the clinicians. It's obvious. Because clinicians are the one who will tell when, how and for how long to take them. Suppose if nothing like this would have been given in this, even then this has my answer. Generally saying, because it is given in the passive voice. Again, one time watching this video will not solve the purpose and I know about it. Please listen to this again to understand. Now, just to make it little more easy, like in OET writing, we say during hospitalization, patient was visited. Suppose if we are writing, okay, let's simple patient visited at our clinic. This is simple patient visited. That means patient came to our clinic. We can say patient came. We can say patient presented. These all are active. So these all denote that patient came to our clinic. Do you know what happens in home visit? This is special. If there is any home visit, then you will say on 29th January, the patient was visited. This is the difference between active and passive at his home. Anybody who will write this thing when there would be home visit will definitely get more than 350 marks in writing. Please understand the difference during hospitalization or oh, sorry, no, on 29 January, I will use the same word. It doesn't look nice during hospitalization. So I will use the same word on 29 January patient visited. That means patient visited at our clinic. If you say on 29 January, the patient was visited. That means was visited by us. That means it is a home visit. Whether I write this thing or I don't write this thing, it is a home visit. So patient was visited and was prescribed antibiotics. So that automatically means it is a home visit. That is what I want to teach you. I know it is not that simple. I really wanted to make it simple, but somehow, you know, sometimes things become little complex, but again, try to re-listen to the video, revise the video so that you can understand these points. Now, if you have any doubt, you can ask me, I'm going to unmute you all because I know it's, it's otherwise very easy, but little tricky, but maybe with your questions, I would be able to make it simple. So if you have any questions, you can ask me, please guys, any questions I have unmuted you, any question that you have, that you can raise from this point, any question, just like that, anything. Anyone, please, any question. No, everybody has understood that. That's what I should take. Everybody has understood active passive. Then I will ask you some questions. If you are okay. 
Everybody has understood. Please reply yes or no. Yes, sir. One, yes, sir. Two, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if now let's discuss a little more. If I say today the patient has been diagnosed with diabetes, has been means again. Please try and understand. Has means it is the first form. That means it is a present tense. Present tense. Been plus third form means it is a passive voice. And third form means it is present perfect. That means today the patient has been diagnosed with diabetes. That means today doctor has diagnosed the patient with diabetes. That is what it exactly means. If you will make that active voice, that will become today. Doctor has diagnosed the patient. But in OET, we always use passive voice because we are talking about the patient. That is why we say today the patient has been diagnosed by the doctor. We don't write. So today the, today the patient has been diagnosed with diabetes. Today the patient has been found with signs has been found with high temperature, elevated temperature. So these are the parts of examination. So on, on examination, the patient has been assessed with elevated temperature. Patient has been assessed with tenderness. Patient has been assessed with ectopic pregnancy. That means by the doctor. And in the past, it is like the patient was diagnosed with diabetes. Was plus third form is past. Has been plus third form is present. That is today. Visit. That is why we use these things. Any question in your mind? Please guys, any question? Everything understood? Yes. No, sir. I have one query. Hmm. Uh, like the has been is only used for the uh, present time. Absolutely, yes. And uh, has, cannot, has cannot be used in the past. Has means present. Yes, and been for the future from... No, no, again, my dear, again. Been is not for the future. I will show you. That's very good you are asking because otherwise you will not understand. I told yeah. you here, been is either used for the perfect tense or for the passive. Passive. Bean is saying that I am a passive voice. If Bean is coming with the third form, it is a passive voice. If Ismar is coming with the third form, it is a passive voice. If Wasver is coming with the third form, it is a passive voice. Because what is this? Ismar third form means first of form of B plus third form. Wasver third form means second form of B plus third form. Bean plus third form means third form of B plus third form. So they are actually denoting a passive voice B plus third form. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. More questions. Please ask more questions. I would be able to teach you better. The more you ask, the easier it becomes for me. Ask me more, please. Happy to answer. Yes, sir. So there is a sentence you will say, Sir, patient has been having diabetes since last three years. So I will say has been ing means present perfect continuous. But this is not passive. You will say sir you just said has been is passive. No. Has been plus third form is passive. Today the patient has been found. Today the patient has been assessed. But today or but the patient has been having has been ing. I am not using the third form. So it is not passive. It is active, present, perfect, continuous. That means patient is has been having diabetes since last 10 years. So it is active. Patient has been having that means it is an active. Patient is having diabetes. So that sentence is little different from passive voices. It is not passive. It is just like, okay, let me make it simple for you. Okay. This sentence also, because this is the only thing that can confuse you after learning this. I am working. I am working myself. It is active. I am made to work by my boss. This is passive. Why is MR third form? I am made to work. Okay. Let me make it more simple for you. 
Mm. Okay, let it be. I am made to work. Is M our third form? That means it is a passive voice. I am made by someone. So is M our third form means passive voice. Now I am now coming back to that same sentence. I am working. English says if you are working in continuous tense and time is given, then you say I have been working. since last half an hour so this is also active that i am working but time is given so this is present perfect continuous so in the same way we say he has been having diabetes since last 10 years so it is also that means patient has been having diabetes but now see the sentence the patient has been diagnosed this is passive now this means by the doctor why what is the difference between this and this sentence this is has been ing and this is fulfilling my condition of passive voice b plus third form this is passive the patient has been diagnosed by the doctor patient has been diagnosed with diabetes the patient has been found with tenderness the patient has been found with temperature that means by us we are the nurses we are the doctors so that is what it means again more questions please if you do not understand anything please ask anything you would like this would be very important because i just told you the importance of this thing in reading that is where i started because sometimes we do not understand when a patient is prescribed antibiotic obviously we understand normally that patient will not prescribe anti antibiotics he will be prescribed antibiotics by the doctor okay but sometimes suppose by chance if you get a question paper sometimes it can happen what should doctors do and suppose only this paragraph is given then you will be seeing oh my god sir doctor was not given sir one question was like that in which one the question was about what should doctors do in the answer doctors were not given so i will tell you buddy there would have been a passive voice when patient is prescribed antibiotics that will be prescribed by the clinicians so what should they do they should give the information about when how and for how long to take them as well as the potential side effects and the review plan is discussed again it is a passive voice that means it should be discussed by the doctor with the patient so everything is given so if i try to find the answer from this i am not quite sure because it is given in this uh, paragraph obviously it is given for clinicians so that would be given over here as well but let's see if the answer is from here so i will try to find the answer discuss the side effects of antibiotics with patients and carers so it is covering only this point but there are many other points like how long to take them discuss the antibiotic regime in detail antibiotic routine in detail yes this is the routine this is better so it's better than a discuss the purpose of antibiotics purpose means only why so i would like to go with b if only this much is given because in this he will discuss when regime means routine of the antibiotics how how long to take them should be discussed and one more point is given over here i will i will read this as well for you because the point question is about clinician discuss with the patient the importance of taking antibiotics how long to take them any potential side effects that means again in this only this part is covering the importance that is the purpose so if i do c importance even then it is incomplete means some questions are like that that a is also incomplete because it is talking only about the side effect but it is correct c is also correct because it is only talking about the purpose but purpose is only importance but they have covered more points they have covered when how how long even in this they have covered again importance how long any potential side effect whether the treatment will be reviewed or not that means they should talk more about it 
सो अगेन सम रीडिंग्स आर कॉम्प्लेक्स इन दिस बाय चांस मे बी आंसर कैन बी गिवन एज सी बट एज पर मी आंसर शुड डेफिनेटली बी बी बिकॉज वी हैव टू टेल मोर अबाउट एंटीबायोटिक रेजिंग वेन टू टेक हाउ टू टेक हाउ लॉन्ग टू टेक ओवर हेयर इट इज गिवन दैट पर्पज ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स दैट मीन्स बट पर्पज पर्पज मीन्स वाई द एंटीबायोटिक्स इज गिवन so over here i don't think so they are talking much about purpose so any how answer should be b but if it is given c then i would say it is not rightly given but you can let me know about the answer i don't know about this answer was the answer given any how b or c b b so that is that is what you can learn again i know it's very difficult to repeat the videos and to watch the videos again and again but every time i promise you that listening part a video we did last week and this video whenever you will listen you will improve because being a mentor i can tell you what what are the problems that people face or oit candidates face when they do not know the basics this video and at the end of the this video now i will put that listening video as well so that you can click on it at the end it will come as a thumbnail that two videos these two videos are very important to learn grammar and basics i still i cannot teach you all the grammar still there lot more grammar but these two videos will definitely help you understand everything about grammars so that is how these questions are done so when i could see the answer is given only here only antibiotic regime means regime word is for the routine how to take them when to take them also i will tell you one more thing purpose what are the what is the purpose of antibiotics guys what is the purpose what is the purpose normally antibiotics why do we give them for for the infections for the infections especially, especially for the bacterial infections right yeah bacterial infection and somehow what is the importance of taking antibiotics as prescribed so importance of taking antibiotics as prescribed means take the antibiotics on time importance is little different from purpose otherwise it seems like same. if i will tell the patient see antibiotics are very important to be taken at time because if you will not take on time then antibiotics routine is not followed not followed means if i say take the antibiotics on time it is very important to take the antibiotics on time that means again i am talking about the regime i am not talking about the purpose so that is what reading is all about and it is not difficult if you are sitting alone if i tell you dear take the antibiotics as prescribed i mean take the antibiotics on time so if i am telling you the importance of taking the antibiotics on time that means i am worried about the regime i am not worried about purpose it's simple so it was only one question but trust me this video will help you this is dr bupesh from dr bkm oit institute and please revise these videos again and again it will definitely fetch you better results it would be hard because you would be saying oh it's only one question but trust me it will solve so many questions of yours if you learn it in the nice way thank you